love history. Did your yeah. wife keep her maiden name? Man, I tried to call you. Did you change your number? Man, what you wearing? You smell good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Muchos thank you. Yes, the pen is mightier when it belongs to uh, our friend Anthony Castro Vince. Maybe the pun is mightier. AJ Preller never ceases to amaze. Here's another one. I've received another printout from the pun lab. It says the Padres get an early Seaster president present. Don't blame me. That's an interesting oxymoron. It's, not, right it's, just, it's just clever. I've done things I shouldn't do. Uh, you do you regret any of that, Anthony? I mean, you're you're better than that. I got to tell, tell you. <laughs> I've I've never. Not, I've never not regretted anything I've posted on <laughs> X slash Twitter, but it's spring training. I'm just getting my reps in. Gotcha. Good morning. Thanks for joining us and uh, joining us today to discuss something that you've written on MLB.com, which identifies team goals around Major League Baseball. And let me start you with the Padres. Does any of that yeah. calculus change now that they have acquired Dylan Cease? I mean, their their playoff odds certainly improved, but it, it doesn't change the bottom line, which is this team has to win close games. That's that was the key to a difficult 2023 season, a season that was really historically significant in that. And this team is top three and pretty or, uh, upper third in, in baseball in pretty much every major offensive and pitching category and still missed an expanded postseason because they just did not win these close games. I mean, you look at that nine and 23 in one run games. They went two and 12 and extra innings. That shouldn't even be possible. Uh, so, you know, they're going to look a lot different without Juan Soto, but I still think, you know, this could be a playoff team. I, I think just regression to the mean in those close late situations. I looked at it in history. They've had two of the five worst uh, team batting averages in close and late situations just in the last five years, 2019 and last year. So uh, you'd expect some better luck in those situations. Anthony, I think everything you're doing is wonderful, bro. You think you're doing a great job. Oh <laughs> Thanks, I thought Harold was off this week. <laughs> oh, hey, what do you got on the Braves, man? Chris Sale going there, coming in as a number four starter. What do you got on the Braves? Yeah, Chris Sale, he said he, he brings an edge to that team. It, maybe it needs an edge because – you know, their goal needs to be stop losing to the Phillies in the postseason. Maybe start losing them in the regular season, get that out of the way, and then be ready to compete against them in October. Because for whatever reason, this team's 19 and 13 against the Phillies in the regular season the last two years, and of course, two and six in the NLDS. Bounce both times and, and you know, plus over 100 win seasons both end in ignominy uh, against their division rival there. So Fangraphs projects a 12 game gap between these two teams uh, in the standings. That's how much better they think the Braves are. Than the wow. Phillies. I don't know. I, I have it closer than that. I, I think the Phillies are a really good team, but um, I do think the Braves are the better team, but they got to win when it counts. Spencer Strider says it's World Series or bust this year for Atlanta. I think you could say the same thing for the Astros. In fact, if their stated team goal was play in the league championship series for seven straight years, then check, 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 check. What is their team goal or one of their goals for 2024? They got to get Christian Javier right. Uh, they're not going to have Verlander at the start of the season, though he should be ready soon. You know, Verlander and Fran Brevaldez, that's a dynamic one two punch. We know that. But Javier is kind of the, the, the swing man, the X factor for this season, I think. You know, he was a big reason they didn't quite get on track last year. Um, and then by the time they did, you know, he, he did not deliver in game seven against the Rangers in the ALCS. He was my Cy Young pick last year, so this is personal, and I'm probably responsible for everything that happened thereafter. <laughs> but you know, he goes from a hundred, a 150 ERA plus in 2022, that's 50% better than league average, to 8% worse than league average last year. Did not get as much swing and miss. You know, the fastball was not the force it once was. I think his his release point was a little off. So yeah, they got to get him on track. He, he's huge for them. What about the Royals? Big off season for them. A lot of additions. You know, what are they thinking here in 2024? Yeah, they're, they're trying to go from 106 losses to the playoffs. There's only been one team in history to go from 100-plus losses uh, to the postseason. That was the 2016 uh, to 2017 Twins, of course. Where do they reside? In the AL Central. So the AL Central can make magic happen. And, of course, so can the expanded format. So it's a big task. You know, I, I don't know if they, they did a lot this winter. I don't know if they did enough to become a playoff team overnight. But certainly, you know, more depth on the pitching front. And they should have, you know, I think MJ Melendez is at the top of their lineup. I think he's a breakout candidate based on his batted ball data. Then you got Bobby Wood Jr., Sal Perez, of course, and then Vinny Pasquantino in the cleanup spot coming back from shoulder surgery. I mean, that that's a, that could be a pretty decent top of the lineup. And then Cole Reagans, he's got some of the best stuff in baseball at the top of the rotation. So I don't dismiss them being more competitive. I, I don't know if they're a playoff team. But I will say 
I was in Royals camp the other day, and our friend Harold was there to talk to their minor leaguers, and that could be the key to their future right there. That, that could set Kansas City on a whole different trajectory. He wasn't a fan of the breakfast spread, though. The bacon is terrible. Oh, is right? yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, one last team to hit you on here before we let you go. You know, I've taken the, the bait on the Blue Jays the past few years and long, deep postseason runs. That's been my preseason call for them. I'm, I'm off of that. I'm not going to do that anymore. What would one of your goals be for that team this year? For the Blue Jays, just get Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on track. Get, get him to an elite MVP type level is the key to the whole darn thing there. Um, you know, they did not have the offseason they wanted to have, of course. Uh, but they could still have a very good season if this guy is back to that 2021 level. I mean, see there, the numbers last year, he's a good player. But he wasn't even one of the top 10 first basemen in 2023. The only person who was happy with this 2023 was the arbitrator who gave him $20 million, <laughs> awarded him the victory in arbitration. Um, but he said himself, you know, it's going to be Vlad Jr. is back this year or it's going to be Vlad Jr. stayed behind. He's only 24 years old. He turns 25 next month. Still very young. Uh, he's had a couple of nicks and bruises here in camp, jammed his finger, you know, you know his knee was bothering him, but, um, you know, it's still there. I mean, the batted ball data, he still hits the ball really hard. He still avoids the swing and miss. I mean, th this guy could be an MVP type performer, but they need to see it. Great perspective as always from our friend Anthony Castro Vince on a Thursday before we let you go. We got to hit you with this. Uh, you sent this out on X very <laughs> proud to have covered baseball for 20 years and never had to take one of those photos where I'm wearing a suit and holding a bat or tossing a ball in the air. Uh, if, we did it for you. Oh, yeah. There we go. We did it for you. Fake news. It's not it's fake bad, news. So, it's a, it kind of works. Yeah. It's a real photo. Very good. I, I want to see That's that as your future book cover right there. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, thanks, man. Way to go. Good stuff.